know that we're meant to be barefoot. Not on a flight, Santi. <laughs> but we're designed to be barefoot. Not on a flight, Santi. We're not grounding on a flight. I'm doing we're it on the next flight. I'm doing it on the next flight. That, that shit was egregious. That, that man should be arrested by the federal air marshals. Where are your shoes, dog? North Carolina people and it's t-shirt weather so we arrive in North Carolina and we're just about to check in our hotel when huh yo Wait, who I don't know oh I can't see who it is oh bar wait why you why you why, you, why are you flexing on him is that a rental I need to know why are you flexing on him, dude? What's up, bro? Damn. Now, for those of you that don't know, that's DJ Barr, legendary YouTuber and a good friend of mine, also from New Jersey. We'll definitely have to hang out with him later. But anyway, we check into the room. Hampton and his suites. I gotta admit, Rick put us up in a nice place. Love the decorations. Love the decor. Except for this guy. How am I gonna sleep with this motherfucker on the wall? Hell no. Now, Rick was nice enough to give us his Greensboro Holiday Lights van, which was pimping to say the least. We took our new ride to the Cadillac Service Garage where the wedding's going to take place. Wanted to go, you know, see what we're working with. And I got to say, what a venue. It's an old Cadillac dealership from the 1950s that they converted into this really, really cool wedding venue. Look at the sound treatment, people. Look at that. I mean, who does that? Not in Jersey, anyway. All right, people, so here's the situation. So Rick, since I know Rick personally, he was nice enough to invite us to his rehearsal dinner, which is pretty dope. So we're going to head over there in a little bit. It starts at 6. It's literally 6 o'clock right now. But we want to be fashionably late. So we're having a hotel lobby drink, 15 minutes or so. We'll head over there, Uber there, and see where the night takes us. Did you drink that water? You drink that water? Uh, I might take a sip. We in North Carolina. I feel like it's a little different. All right, just one little sip. I thought it's probably pretty nice. So we're here at Cal, and it's a Cal-themed restaurant. It's a half butcher shop, and you guessed it, they sell all the meats. And uh, we had an awesome spread here, food was fire. But anyway, the game plan here is have a couple drinks, hang out, yada, yada, yada. Then probably closer to 9.30 or so, we'll head back into town, and then we're heading out to Limelight tonight, and that's where Santi is gonna film his vlog. Once it's out, it'll be in the description below. You can check that out, and check out the other shit too. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try and have fun, but try not to have too much fun, because we got a big wedding tomorrow, people. Big wedding. Look at this, tell me these fucking sinks don't look like complete shit. They look like shit, literal shit. Insert, insert pu poop emoji here, and then take your hand and go, blah. That shit is It'll nasty. make you this. Yeah, right? That's how you get that kind of sink design. That shit's fucking nasty. Now that was fun, but it's back to business. It is now Rick and Christine's wedding day. So we woke up early, went to brunch, enjoyed that, and then I immediately got back to the room and started prepping crates and getting ready. So uh, one of the things Rick did is he had like a couple, you know, uh, suggestions for me to play for dancing, and he dropped me a Dropbox folder. And in that Dropbox folder was a couple edits. And they were basically like, let's say it's like, I love it by Okana o Pop or whatever. And then it goes into like a house drop or something like that. But they're like mashup edits. It's not like a, a, an original house drop. It's like a, like I think the I love it goes into animals or something like that. And my first thought is like, all right, well, he wants me to play this, I'll play it. My second thought is like, I want to be more unpredictable. I'm kind of going to like just take those songs individually and kind of mix them my own way. That that house drop in particular starts with a clap and I know like the edit I play of I Love It usually starts with a clap so like I'm going to play the original so there's no clap so he doesn't think I'm playing the edit because I don't want to like play it and then he's expecting the drop and then the drop doesn't happen and then he's like disappointed either. You know what I mean? So like I want to play it a different way so he knows I'm not playing that edit but then also I can kind of like Surprise, I wanna do a lot of surprises, a lot of, whoa, I didn't see that shit coming. That's literally how I organize my crates, that's literally how I'm thinking about this. I just wanna like surprise him and his people, you know, as much as possible. A lot of ooze, a lot of ooze. It's time, people, taking the shagging wagon back to the Cadillac service garage for the big day. I'm gonna set up my laptop here. Um, if you guys would notice, especially if you, if, uh, if you know Rick Webb, um, the only charger he has is, uh, what is this? What is this thing? What, 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 do, you, what do you call this? Is that a DC? It's a, it's a 
Lenovo. It's like a Dell charger because Rick hates Mac. So I went ahead and installed my Mac charger in Rick's furniture, which of course I left there after the wedding was done. Rick, if you're listening, if you can mail that back, you'd be the man. Anyway. All right. I'm just going to toss my laptop here. One thing I definitely want to do, um, we got here early. It's about two hours till the ceremony starts. Plenty of time. Everything's set up. We're not setting up anything, obviously, so we're here dumb early. But I'm going to go through the back here, and I'm going to basically go through and figure out how all this shit works, like how it's hooked up, how it's ran. Because at the end of the day, if something goes wrong, the only person in the room that's going to know it's his shit and that, you know, it's not my fault is Rick. Everybody else is going to look at me like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, so I have to be able to put out fires. No matter what happens, I gotta be able to put out the fire. Even though there's a crew here, everything else, I just wanna know how everything works, just in case. Look at the bling on my man's though. Did you, did... <laughs> like that? <laughs> it's the Guido in me. It's the Guido in me. Like, I'm slowly, like, morphing into, like, my forefathers. Just morphing in. Like, that pinky ring is coming. All right, so what do we got here? So it looks like. This is actually a really cool concept too. Look at this. It's like a 18 space rack, 16 space rack. And then it's got these uh, these things that are that are attached to it. So it makes it one big long table. And so he's running everything through a Yamaha 12 channel. Computer and everything, sound switch for the lights. They're gonna be controlling all of that. I guess one of these mics are gonna be mine. Not time to test it yet, but we're doing, look at these. Is it, these are Audio Technica's ATWC 510s. What do you think, Santi? It's kind of uh, big and black, right? Hey, yo, you didn't have to smack it like that. <laughs> now headed over to the other space. Santi has to set up his TV. I mean, laptop for cocktail hour. Oh, oh my, oh my God. What are you, oh my God. Oh my God. How are you going DJ with a 16 inch Mac, dog? I mean, yeah, my vision, I'm getting old. <laughs> now that we're all set up nice and early, figure we head over to the groom suite and hang out with Rick and his groomsmen. I partaked in a little bit of beer pong and... I let Rick win. I mean, it's his wedding day. What, what do you think? I don't have a conscious. Yeah, you use these things. <laughs> And now it's showtime, people. Rick and Christine are officially married. Santi set up with Cocktail Hour, two LD24s, by the way, one upstairs and one downstairs. He's basically playing jazz for the first hour, and then the second hour is where everyone else shows up and he does his thing. <laughs> J Book, what's your request? What's happening, bro? Hey, I don't have, you know what? No request. Let you, let Nick cook. Let Nick cook. I'm gonna try my hardest. Do it, do it. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Let Nick cook. Well, in the words of my homie J Book, it's time to cook. And that rhyme. Look at that. Look at me. Ah, bars. How the West Side makes the noise for Brian Green up here? Hey! It is Saturday night. I'm so pumped to get this party started. Please focus your attention on our man right there as I announce the following people. So we're going to start with the parents of the bride, Mr. and Mrs. Lisa and Stan Hope Johnson. Intros are done. What a relief. Now, Rick and Christine are first dancing. The timeline went like this. First dance, 
parent dances, then there was a welcome speech, a blessing, and then we got into dinner. And you could bet your ass I mixed dinner. No autoplay around here, people. So after dinner, Rick and Christine went around and they got shots with all the tables with their photographers. I played ballroom blitz for this while they were doing it. It took about five minutes or so. It actually went pretty well. And afterwards, we did a huge group shot, Rick's request, and then we got everyone dancing. <laughs> Group shot work, they're dancing, and now it's my job to keep them there. Let's play some hits, people. As we're traveling home and I'm watching Santi sleep with his mouth open, I'm just reflecting on how lucky I am to do this for a living and, you know, the places I get to go, the people I get to meet and see and play for, and man, shouts to Rick Webb. Thanks so much for having us. It was an honor and a complete blast to celebrate with you and your family, and make sure you subscribe because we have a hell of a wedding season coming up, people. Let's go. Let's go.